Well, I'm a fan of Vegas. So apparently, this man is under hot water for leaving his girl at home to go to the Super Bowl with his homies. What's going on is that my birthday is February 10th, and my boyfriend just won two free tickets to Vegas for the Super Bowl, oh, okay, wow, which fun. is essentially on my birthday, mm -hmm. and he's abandoning me and taking his okay. best friend Whoa, instead. Wait a minute. Oh, wait my. a minute. Let me explain. <laughs> I'm not abandoning her. We can do something before or after. Okay. I've told her that so many times. Okay. Oh. So many times. Okay, but 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 listen, Derek, you could take me and you're and you're choosing to not take me, leave me all yeah. alone on not... my birthday. Wait, Derek, who are you taking with you? Someone else. I'm taking my best friend. I'm taking my best friend Brad. We've known each other oh. for years. We watch the game every Sunday. I can't not take him. So he's a big football fan. Are you a football fan, Megan? Well, I'm not necessarily a fan of football, but I'm a fan of <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Listen. Also, Taylor Swift is probably yeah. going to be there. <laughs> Taylor Swift. I'll take, Usher I'll perform. I'll take you to Vegas. Usher at I'll take yeah. you to Vegas. I'll take you to Usher. I'll take you to Taylor Swift, but not right now. This no. Is so go to this, right. it is like Let me tell you my initial thoughts. Uh, Every week he sits to watch the game. What do you do? Oh my God! He, he come watching the game. Oh my God! Maybe you want to come watch the game with us today? No, oh my God! I'm do. I gotta go. I'm going to my mom's house. I'm going to sit with my mom, and I'm gonna we're gonna do each other's nails. He's like, all right, you know, watch my boy. Watch my boys, I'm, I'm boys, boys, Alex. boys. Boys night, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, pop a beer, whatever. You could come sit with me, but you know. And if she sat with him, what he do? He probably sit there and cuddle, mm -hmm. watch the game. But she's choosing to not be engaged. She's choosing not to learn the game. So now he gets an opportunity. To, to go and see the Super Bowl, which is insane. Tickets start at $7,000. That's insane. You're going for free. And, and you're like, ah, who should I take? The person who never wants to spend time with me watching the game or the person who I watch the game with every single week? Why is it an argument? What is the debate there? That's selfishness. My mom was talking about that before, about how, like, you're not supporting. And I think about it like, a little more. She started explaining to me. It's like, it really is the little stuff. Mm -hmm. And now when it comes to the big stuff, now you want him to be committed 100% right. of the time. Right. You want him to, you you want him to flip his habits mm -hmm. to accommodate you because it's like, well, I'm a fan of Vegas. He's not going I'm to not Vegas going for Vegas. Vegas. He's, not He's going to the Super Bowl. Why would I sacrifice my trip so you can get ten percent of it? Bro, I want I want to go see Usher and and uh, uh, Taylor Swift might be in the room. Like like no, she's gonna have her private thing. Like they're not even gonna see Taylor Swift. Bro. Like she's gonna be up there. Oh my God, Taylor Swift is like five hundred feet away from me. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my like, God. It, it, it's there's no benefit to him for you to go. There's mm -hmm. no moments gonna be shared. And then we're back to this. Why don't people just get therapists? <laughs> because they're arguing about it right there. Calling a public radio station for your for your couple drama is insane and, work, bro. Okay, so my thing was when she got on there loud, I was like, oh, it's fresh. But then she kept going. I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not fresh. Maybe it's just that, like, she's passionate about it and it's, like, kind of funny. And then here you come. No, that is not what it is. I'm like, oh, no, this is fresh. Like, bro, it's there. He won those tickets, like, yesterday, like, last night. Just now. Bro. Like, he slept on the couch last night uh -huh. and they're, like, still not over it. The question that brings it up is when is it appropriate to leave your girl at home? So you had brought it up the other day. What I we brought up. We were talking about Africa. We were like, there. Mm -hmm. I don't want if if my girl doesn't have like a place there mm -hmm. and like a role, and she just yeah, to everybody else that she looks like she's just like a, a tag along. Mm -hmm. Then I'm not gonna bring her because I don't want her to feel that way. Yeah, and then she ain't about to look that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you start looking at her like she tag along, I'm gonna have to punch you. And I see, I, yeah. Oh no, you, she can stay. Uh, go ahead, come on, fight me, please. We I'm can stay. If we if we still we're going on like a business trip, we finna go shoot. We finna go to. Venice. We're mm -hmm. at Venice Beach and go do like a, like a on the street video. And it's just, we're going to get a hotel room. We might eat a little bit and then we'll go shoot. And then we come back like two days later next day. Mm -hmm. It's like, I bring my girl. They're going to have a place? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's like, well, I want to go to LA with you. Well, you're not going to have a place though. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you out there by yourself for real. Right. So that's where it comes in. And so if, they, if their partner don't understand that, that's just pure mm -hmm. selfishness. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it above. Yeah. And then it also depends on the type of relationship that you want. Because <clears throat> not every single relationship dynamic wants um like best friendness. Mm -hmm. And you know, I used to think that like oh, if your partner's not your best friend, you're not a good relationship. But not every relationship is for that. Like you, like what works for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's some stuff that I feel like needs to stay the same. Like y'all need to know how to split finances. Like mm. that's a requirement. Like I'm not saying y'all can make it look like how y'all want, but y'all need to understand that concept of like our money. Like our car. It has to be our. Yeah. So but do it how you what what does that look like for you though? Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> so every relationship can be different. I know for me though, what I've always had is my relationship has always been 
best friend centered just because of the lack of friends that I have. Like I don't have, <laughs> like I just don't get along with a lot of people. So, Very true. Like my best friend got to be my partner. Yeah. And that's how I ended up with Maj because she was the best option for best friendedness. Mm-hmm. Like as far as commitment through best friended type relationship, she was like number one on the list. Yeah. So pretty much that's how it happened. And that's how everything else is viewed. Like, we're best friends. So, like, would I bring my best friend? And, like, so we're talking about to Africa. Uh, nah. There's no reason I would bring my girlfriend to Africa with me on a work trip because we're going to be there for a weekend. Like, for a, just over a week. It'd be eight days. Like, uh, there's no reason. Now, on the plane, that would be helpful. That would be helpful. Because I can't fall asleep without her on a plane. It's, it's really, really hard. It's really hard mm-hmm. to fall asleep without her. But especially on a plane, it's just so tough. The question was, when is it appropriate to leave her home? And... For me, I just say it's it's work. When I'm mm-hmm. when I am working, especially if it's work for bills, that's the number yeah. one thing. If it's work for bills, you gotta stay. If it's work for pleasure, like um, we just vlogging. If it's vlogging or like let's say I live that lifestyle where I was going on a business trip, but it's like in Miami and I'm like doing both, then I probably bring her to that too. Yeah. Because like I'm doing both. Like I'm gonna go to the conference for two days, but then I have the day so like I'm there for a whole week. Sunday, I'm not doing nothing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I have the conference and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um mm-hmm. I'm off. I'm gonna bring her. Monday, Tuesday, thir- Wednesday, you on your own. Monday, stay at the room. Tuesday, go on a tour. Wednesday, take a nap. Yeah. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we out all day. That's that's yeah. how I would do that. 